Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, it's New York Bread Day at the Spa on Friday, and we'll kick off the stakes action with race number three, the $200,000 Fleet Indian Stakes. These are three-year-old fillies going a mile and an eighth on the main track. It is a stakes-laden card at Saratoga as we lead up to the Run Happy Travers on Saturday. Get involved with a DRF Bets account. Sign up, access a $100 deposit match at drf.com forward slash bet. Let's meet these three-year-old fillies getting set to go this demanding mile and an eighth distance. Morning line favorite Mike the number two newly minted and she just might be the most naturally talented horse in this race. All three of her dirt starts have resulted in fairly easy victories but this is the first time she's stretching out and she is stretching way out in distance. Yeah, right. I mean, it's really, as far as I'm concerned, the only question um, about the race, because I, I do think she's the most talented horse in the race. Um, and it's not even that close, I don't think. Um, you know, it's just a question of how far she wants to go. She's got a lot of natural speed, but she's kind of rateable. So, you know, listen, maybe she'll handle it. You can forget about the turf race last time. She didn't look comfortable on that surface at all. She's way better on dirt. It's just a question of whether you feel like she'll get this distance and do you want to take a, a short price to find out. And that's really the major question. Her pedigree kind of gives out mixed signals. Her sire, central banker, kind of a sprinty type. But you get that stamina from the Bernardini side of the family. This time form U.S. pace projector is handicappable, to be sure. They've got three speeds. Newly minted the two. Wait a minute the four. Kid is frosty the six. I think Jose Lascano would be very happy to let the four and the six go. Tuck in third. Try to relax and save something for the lane. Yeah, I think that's probably right. I don't think he wants to get her involved in any kind of a pace duel. Um, it seems pretty sure to me that I would think Kid and Frosty at least is going to go from the outside. After that, I'm not sure what's going to happen. My Kid is Frosty, interestingly enough, has really taken a step forward since being switched to turf. She's two for two lifetime on the grass, utilizing her good early speed to kind of get the jump on her competition and then hold him off late. Her dirt form is good, but do you think she's better on the turf? Well, yeah, I mean, I, her dirt form is okay. I do really feel like she took a big step forward on the grass, though. Um, you know, we'll see if she stretches out, too. I, you know, to me, she's the kind of horse where I like a lot better on the other surface. I know that she defeated newly minted on grass. I don't think that matters all that much. Um, I think this is a way tougher spot for her. As for the other speed, the time form U.S. projects to be close. The four wait a minute has really improved since being stretched out around two turns. I guess that's just been the key. She earned a really solid buyer speed figure two starts back. And last time out, while well, that fig dropped 16 points, she beat a decent horse in Espresso shot while running hard every step of the way. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Listen, um, having ability over a distance of ground is no small thing in this race because not many have shown it yet. She's already won twice around two turns on the main track. It's a it's a big deal. She earned a 79 buyer when she blew out that allowance field two back. That says she's a contender in here. I don't really have any knocks on this horse, Dan, and it feels like she might be an okay price. The one maiden beauty goes turf to dirt for Gary Contessa, and this horse beat behind the couch three starts back over a muddy track, and we've had a lot of wet weather this week at Saratoga. Two back in the mud, she finished behind a couple of sharp horses. Slimy came back to win with a 78 buyer. The runner-up came back to win with an 82 buyer speed figure, and this is another horse tactically inclined that can track in the second flight. Yeah, I think she can get a good trip in this race. I'm um, very concerned about how far she wants to go. And just haven't seen, you know, most of her races throughout her career. I never really felt like even more distance was going to help this horse. I did think she ran pretty well when she beat uh, behind the couch a few starts back up. Do you have the same concerns with Elegant Zip, especially when you look at the pedigree by Runaway and Hyde out of a Spitestown mare, kind of sprinty. They tried two turns for the first time in the New York Oaks and wait a minute, ran away from her. Yeah, I've always been concerned about distance for her. Um, I like her a lot as a horse. Um, this distance, I don't really feel like I want to take a shot with her here. Let's take a look at our top picks for this year's Fleet Indian Stakes. And Mike, you like the five behind the couch for Jose Ortiz and Jeremiah Engelhardt. And while this will also be this filly's first start around two turns, she is at least bred to handle the distance. Yeah, that was really the deciding factor for me, Dan. I feel like she is bred to stretch out, so I'm just hoping she'll do it at maybe a, a fair price in this race. I actually like all of her starts. I think she's run well. And basically all of her races, um, she couldn't get by Maiden Beauty last time, but I did think that she ran a nice race there. Um, I'm really just hoping the distance is the great equalizer here if she gets it. 
You're going to go with the five behind the couch. I'm going two five. I just think Newly Minton's the most talented horse in the race. And if she can relax early in behind the other speeds, I think she'll have an opportunity here at a mile and an eighth. But as you mentioned, the price is just not going to be very juicy. I went two five one. Who do you have behind the five? Yeah, I went five two four. I'm not way against Newly Minton. I just didn't really want to bet her at a short price. Fair enough. $200,000 Fleet Indian Stakes kicks off the stakes action on New York Bread Friday at Saratoga. Get involved with your DRF bets account. $100 deposit match just waiting for you at drf.com forward slash bet. An approximate post time for the Fleet Indian, 2.06 Eastern. Good luck.